it's, it's time, time for, for multiplication, multiplication and, and division. division. Multiplication can be used to represent repeated addition or the total number in a set of equal sized groups. Let's look at this example. A hospital ordered new blankets. The blankets will be delivered in three equal shipments of 213 blankets. How many blankets will be delivered altogether? Well, we have 213 in the first box, 213 in the second box, and 213 in the third box. That would be 213 plus 213 plus 213, or three groups of 213. I can use 213 times 3 to solve this problem. 3 times 3 is 9, then 3 times 1 is 3, and last, 3 times 2 is 6. So my answer is 639 blankets. Let's try this one. There are six fish tanks in the lobby of an aquarium. There are 34 fish in each tank. How many fish are there all together? So we have six fish tanks and they each have 34 fish. So this would be repeated addition or six groups of 34, which can be solved by calculating 34 times six. Six times four is 24. So we would write down the four and then put the two up here. Then we do six times three, which is 18, plus the two is 20. So we get 204. There's our answer. Now let's look at division. Division can be used to find how many groups a total has been split into equal size groups, or how many are in those equal size groups when a total is broken up into certain amount of groups. Let's check out an example. A train traveled 130 miles in two hours. The same distance was traveled each hour. How far did the train travel each hour? So we have 130 miles and we're trying to split these 130 miles into two hours. We could do 130 divided by two. Two doesn't go into one, so we look at two going into 13. Well, I know two times six is 12, and then 13 minus 12 is one. Bring down the zero, that makes 10. Two goes into 10 five times, so our answer is 65. Let's look at division with remainders. A remainder is an amount left over after division. This problem says, Mr. Wagner has 289 bricks. He is building a new patio. He arranges the bricks in rows of nine. How many bricks will Mr. Wagner have left over? Since we're given the total and we're splitting up the 289 total into groups of nine, we want to know how many groups we will have. We want to divide 289 divided by nine. Nine can't go into two, so we look at the nine going into 28. Nine goes into 28 three times, but nine times three is 27. 28 minus 27 is one. Then we drop down the nine, we get 19. Nine goes into 19 twice, but two times nine is 18. When we subtract 19 minus 18, we get one. So we have one left over. So our answer is 32 remainder one. That means Mr. Wagner had 32 rows of nine and one left over. So our answer is one. You are now a multiplication and division master. Good luck.